Hey food lovers, welcome to an extra sweet segment of Mary's Kitchen. Today we are featuring a local bakery located in the exchange district called Cakeology. Co-owners Bien and Baker Austin have come together to create delicious beautiful desserts and pastries to delight all of your senses. Austin's passion for food and culture began when he was 18 in Vancouver and figured that this is his way of showing, a, showing appreciation to the world. He's worked with top chefs in Toronto, Vancouver, New York, Hong Kong, and Denmark. Out of all the baking and pastry experiences he's gone through, his biggest achievement was winning gold in the Skills Canada National Competition in 2015. He also has worked with the creator of the famous Crow Nut Pastry and World's Best Pastry Chef in 2017, as well as venturing out to Noma, one of the most influential restaurants in the world. So you know he's been with the best of the best and is one incredibly talented baker. Austin loves to work with chocolate, plated desserts, and French pastries with Asian flavors. Today, he will be showing us a praline petit gâteau, and his main focus is technique and keeping the integrity of each flavor profile that goes into his products. Guys, make sure that you click in the link below in the description for a chance to win a Cakeology giveaway. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to introduce Austin Granados. Woo! <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hey, Austin. Hi. Thanks for having me here today. Thank you so much. So what are we Great. making today? So what we're going to make is a, um, a chocolate mousse uh, made with praline. Um, this is uh, the interior of our petit gâteau, um, which is right here at the bottom. It starts off with a flourless brownie. Um, and then in the center, you have a soft salted chewy caramel um, with a little bit of uh, crispy rice wafer. Uh, this is all wrapped in our praline mousse, and then it's going to be glazed, uh, finished with a little bit of gold. Uh, so right now I'm just heating up a little bit of uh, glucose as well as milk. Did you say glucose and milk? Yeah. In other words, sugar and milk? Absolutely. <laughs> um, we're going to pour it over our dark chocolate, milk chocolate, as well as our praline paste. And what exactly is praline? Praline is a uh, paste made from caramelized hazelnuts and almonds. Okay. Um, and this, this is a gelatin mass. Uh, oh, gelatin so it's, mass. Yep. Oh, to make it moussey, right? Yeah. Okay. And this will actually set our mousse completely uh, to give it a nice texture as well as a mouthfeel. And so, Austin, when did you... When was Cakeology established? When did you take over? Uh, we took over maybe like... A month prior to the opening, so we opened May first. May first. Oh, May first. Uh, yeah, wow. just super recently. Just recently, <laughs> yes. Uh, so this warm milk as well as glucose, we pour it over. This is just going to emulsify everything, and from here, you kind of stir in the direction uh, from the center outside. It has to be center outside. Yeah, um, let's say. Um, I know there's a reason why. I know, like with baking, there's it's a science, right? You have to. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Especially with chocolate, uh, if you're mixing different types of uh, cocoa butters and uh, water contents and fluidity, mm -hmm. um, you need to have an emulsion, uh, which is two liquids that don't necessarily mix together, um, be suspended and combined. Got it. Okay. I think I learned about that Oops. in uh, like for dressing, for example, right? You yeah. have to emulsify so it's uh, what the oil and the vinegar that don't mix well together. So you need something like a mustard. Yes, absolutely. Mustard mm -hmm. actually has a natural emulsifier, uh, so it'll bring everything together. Got it. Uh, I also did culinary. <laughs> <laughs> so. I was just going to ask you. So you were work. You were in the culinary world. Yep. But you switched over to the pastry world. Why is that? Um, it was just more natural to me. Mm -hmm. I think oftentimes cooking mm -hmm. uh, was a lot of, uh, I wouldn't say like trial and error. You could kind of adjust as you go, but baking is more precise and precision. Absolutely. Um, so we're going to cool this down in the fridge. And we're going to set up for our mousse. And so how long have you been baking for? I was baking for roughly, uh, I started when I was really young. Um, my grandma, she actually uh, inspired me to become what I am today. And Cakeology has always been like a dream. Um, opening a bakery, starting your own thing, and uh, learning what you've done in the past. Um, maybe we can 
talk about what we're selling. Sure. Um, our products. Uh, this is actually just our newest addition. It's a uh, miso and dark chocolate cookie. Uh, oftentimes guests, they come in, they're like, oh, what's miso? Is it like miso soup? Um, but it, I mean, it's the foundation of a byproduct. Uh, so miso is actually fermented soybean. Um, and at Noma, uh, it, last year was like the second best restaurant in the world. Um, what they do is uh, they have like a fermentation lab um, and they make kombuchas, vinegars, everything, their own. This right, oh, sorry. sorry. Did you say it's made out of soybeans, which means there's protein in this cookie? Yeah, <laughs> yeah <Right>? absolutely. <laughs> oh, it's healthier, yeah. Is it healthier? Oh, uh, what the sugar, oh, butter, oh, yeah. It's a fancy chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> absolutely. Um, next over, one of my personal favorites, it's a uh, Queen Amon. Uh, but in this case, it's a lemon poppy seed, uh, which we incorporate poppy seeds into the dough itself. Uh, and then from there, we finish it with a fresh lemon syrup as well as lemon zest. Very similar to a caramelized croissant. Is this, okay, I was just going to say, it's similar to a croissant. I've actually tried that and it's actually quite tasty. You can see all of the layers when you cut through it, actually. Great. Um, and I think every month we're going to change uh, the different flavors. Uh, so next month will be Earl Grey. And uh, it could be, it, it's so versatile. It could uh, range from tea-based, uh, fruit-based, um, different powders you can incorporate. It could actually be like savory as well. Um, and then you go into something more uh, safe for us, uh, cupcakes. We have three in the pastry case right now. It's a uh, chocolate cupcake filled with a dark chocolate ganache. Uh, this one is um, topped with our brownie, um, and then it's finished with dark chocolate. Uh, second one here is a vanilla cupcake filled with vanilla pastry cream topped with Italian buttercream, uh, finished with white chocolate. Uh, and then lastly is a red velvet cupcake uh, filled with uh, cream cheese frosting, Italian buttercream, and finished with hibiscus powder. Um, for me personally, I like hibiscus powder because it's so like floral, uh, it brings acidity to uh, what you're trying to uh, brighten in terms of sweetness. Um, and then from here, you have a burnt bass cheesecake. Um, one of my personal favorites as well. Uh, when you start from the center, it's actually more like semi-set. Um, and then as you enjoy closer to the end, it becomes a lot firmer um, because we bake it at a really high heat. Um, this is what creates that characteristic of the, the color on the outside. And that's why it's called the burnt basque cheesecake. Yes. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, um, last is our entree. So our mousse is almost ready to go. Okay. From here, you should cool it down to about 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. Um, I already whipped this up. It's a uh, whipped cream, but soft peaks. So that way you don't over whip and it doesn't become grainy at the end. I heard that if you over whip your whipped cream, it will almost be like butter. Yeah, absolutely. Yes? Okay. Um, Butter is actually over whipped whipped cream. Oh, really? So, <laughs> That's why uh, it tastes so good. <laughs> I've made my own butter in the past, and you could also do compound butters. Mm -hmm. um, so herbs, mm -hmm. uh, powders, and then you whip that up. Um, and then if you kind of put that in, um, in an application of a dessert, where you just place it on top and the, the product is hot, then you have that melting effect. Got so it. super, super uh, beautiful in terms of like the shininess mm -hmm. uh, flavor and presentation. Okay. Okay, so from here, we're going to fold in our mousse. Just re-whip this guy up. And so you've traveled around the world pretty much, right, Austin? Yeah. New York, you said Denmark, Hong Kong. Hong um, Kong was one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, uh, that experience uh, was amazing. How so? Um, flavor, uh, flavor? Of, like the ingredients. The produce is, is amazing. I think what the next product would be something that I had every day, okay, not every day, every week, uh, would probably be a uh, sourdough egg tart. A sourdough egg tart. Yeah. 
in Hong Kong. Yeah. Well, you know what? That's what they're known for. They're egg tarts. Yeah, absolutely. And, and have you gone to here. Paris too? Paris? No, it's on my bucket list. <laughs> Um, Just because they always, what, they're known for their French pastry, yeah. their, the chocolates, and I know that you like to work with chocolates. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like the Viennoiserie, so uh, croissants, uh, pain au chocolats, uh, stuff like this is, I think, what we're going to incorporate here as well. Okay. Very like French style pastries, um, capable for like the Western palate to actually enjoy as well. Um, I noticed in Denmark, their sweets aren't as sweet. Um, and then you come here, uh, and it's just like a, I mean, like America and Canada, just yeah. like a sugar rush. So. Yes. Yeah. So, what we're gonna do is just fold this in. And let's say um, your chocolate batter, it's still a little bit warm. Uh, and you fold in the whipped cream, it's just going to become like soup. Um, and let's say if it's too cold, then it'll set on you too quickly. Um, and then when you go to actually pipe in the mousse itself, it won't look as nice just because it's set too quickly and you'll get like little uh, bits of gaps. Right. So awesome, we have some friends online. Say hi to Colleen and Kara. Hi. And we have one viewer, Carla, that's asking, do you have any non-sugar products? Non-sugar products? Not at the moment, but my dad is diabetic. Mm -hmm. So I think we will actually, like down the road, we'll have some, uh, some diabetic products. products. Yeah, absolutely. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> what's, your, uh, what's your favorite uh, dessert? Okay, I love cakes. Like, I really, really love cakes. I think it's probably my favorite food. Um, yeah, it's funny. I actually really wanted to work in a bakery when I was younger. Yeah. But um, I don't. I don't have an experience, and I actually don't really bake. But you know, I, I I like the art of it. I like decorating. I like looking at beautiful cakes and seeing the masterpiece like unfold, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I think it's just so grand. So cool. um, I just like cakes. I do. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not hard to please me at all. I'll yeah. eat anything. <laughs> right. Okay. So the mousse is made. Now we're gonna assemble our uh, our mousse cake, uh, brownie, brownie with a uh, rice. So we're going to assemble it with the brownie first. Um, no, we're gonna assemble it with the uh, rice uh, wafer oh, right. as okay. well as a soft chewy caramel. Okay. Thank you. There we go. I can go back in the freezer. There we go. So we'll just make eight for today. Um, with the crispy wafer, it's um, puffed rice, and then we fold in some milk chocolate as well as uh, uh, cocoa butter. Okay. Um, let's say if you just use milk chocolate, then you won't have that nice uh, mouth feel. It's gonna be too crunchy when you mm -hmm. go into uh, biting into it. Uh, so cocoa butter will actually make it a lot softer in terms of uh, the interior and texture. Um, and then from there, we make a soft chewy caramel and we just pipe it in, finish with a little bit of mold and salt. Um, okay, so you're going to help me assemble Yay! these guys. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want me to come over? Uh, or across yeah, you could stay there as well. Okay. Uh, yeah. Perfect. I'm so excited. <laughs> Have you made a mousse before? I have never made a mousse before. Oh, cool. But you know, I watch a lot of cooking shows. So <laughs> I watch a lot of the Instagram like, ah, the yeah. stories of people, how they make cakes and everything. So I, I have a little bit of knowledge. Great. I think I do anyways. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna pipe maybe like halfway through. Okay. And you're just going to place each one like so. Oh, okay, got yeah. it. Place it now? Yep. Okay. Uh, try and get it right in the into middle. The yeah. right in the middle. <laughs> I saw that. Okay. There. Perfect. Perfect. Yep. I'll just flip this over. Okay. 
Yeah, you can adjust. <laughs> On oars. <laughs> Perfect. And then from there, uh, we're going to pipe a little bit more mousse, mm -hmm. um, just until uh, the top. That way, you put over this brownie, okay. and it'll just become nice and level. Okay. So if you want, I could do the first one, and then I can show you how exactly I want it. Okay. Just like so. And then the flat side facing up. Got it. Just like this, making sure it's nice and level. Okay. Yep. Okay. This is a really important job. Yeah, it is uh, temperature sensitive too. Um, if your environment is like really cold, boom, it'll set instantly. Or if it's uh, really warm, uh, later on when you go to actually bite into it, you won't taste the nice textures uh, because it'll just be uh, dense. Um, the mousse would have already uh, been melted. So Perfect. you must like really cold days then. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm back in Winnipeg. Um, it's like the, one of the coldest cities in the world. <laughs> when did you return to Winnipeg? I got back uh, maybe like late December. Okay. Um, back in Denmark. Oh, from Denmark? From Denmark, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Isn't Denmark cold perfect. as well? It's chilly. So... <laughs> It's funny because um, I would have to uh, go from like my place, my Airbnb, mm -hmm. and I would have to walk through the forest to get to work. Here, some some people just like drive, right? Yeah. Um, within the city, um, but it, it was it was an experience for sure. Walking through the forest, walking back, pitch black. Um, that was real fun. So this is perfect. Uh, we're gonna let this firm up overnight in the freezer for 24 hours, um, and. We're going to glaze now, so. We have one viewer here. asking, do you have any eggless products, Austin? Eggless products. Not at the moment as well. Um, I think for right now, it's just limited um, uh, products, um, but that would be a good idea down the road. Okay. Um, yeah, that'd be a really good idea. So, um, the glaze, we're just going to heat back up. It's basically um, condensed milk, uh, cream, sugar, and gelatin mass as well. Um, and then in terms of the color, um, we get our colors from the States. And so, uh, it's super intensified. That way you just put like a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. um, and it comes out uh, super vividly. Oh, this is also I, I crucial. I think I know what you're going to do. I've seen it on Instagram videos where you pour it over the mousse and then it has that mirror look. Yep, exactly. Got it. Um, so you could honestly do one glaze, two glaze, like a bicolor. Um, I just like doing three. Um, and there are also different te techniques that will actually show um, on your mirror glaze as well. Mm -hmm. But for right now, just something simple. We're just going to mix three colors and uh, blend it completely. Okay. Great. We have some more friends online. Say hi to Shelly. Hi. Also have Jesse Plamondon. Hey, Jesse. Oh, cool. Shelly Carpiak's online. Okay, so after unmolding, uh, this is the finished product. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. So it's actually, it it's kind of looks like a, yep. And from here, just space it out slightly. So fast. It's so fast. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's like <laughs> Are you fast or is it cold? That's um, <laughs> Both. My first day working in Hong Kong, I thought I was working fast, but look, they were like, oh, you need There's, to work faster. <laughs> I, I've seen them work. They are so fast. Yeah. It's crazy. Great. So we're just going to mix a little bit of our white, black, and purple. And, and mousse cakes, you could, or it doesn't have to be chocolate all the time. It could be um, fruit bases, uh, different jellies, um, different crunchy textures. 
coconut. My favorite is mango. Um, but in terms of flavor pro profile, like what what's like your favorite profile flavor? I would have to be chocolate. I think really. Yeah. Oh. I like fruit, but I'm not a fan of fruit. Yeah. Or okay, I could I could stop at fruit, but with chocolate, <laughs> I could keep going. Really. But you know what? Like I said, I like all, so I don't know. I mean, uh, it's all tasty. <laughs> Just gonna heat this up a little bit sure. more. Sure. I haven't tried mango. Oh. Yeah. So maybe that's why. So what? Great. What are your favorite desserts to eat then, or to make? Um, the Queen Amon. I I felt like that had to be on the menu for sure. Um, and I think that it will always be on the menu. Okay. Um, and then in terms of like cakes, um, I think like a nice St. Honoré uh, is really nice or a Malfoy. Okay, uh, what Malfoy. are those? <laughs> <laughs> the Queen of Mont, I know because the Queen of Mont is this, right? Yeah. So for those that don't know, this is the Queen of Mont. Yes, yes. Uh, so a Malfoy is a uh, French pastry um that has layers of caramelized puff pastry mm -hmm. um and then it has like a diplomat cream so uh it's a cream made out of uh set with gelatin okay. but folded in with a uh, whipped cream and that could be um like a variety of different um flavors as well um and then you could also make a, a nice caramel mm -hmm. um with it finished with um just icing sugar it could just be like super super simple um another one we're gonna do here is a, a cream puff so like a uh Patashu, or um, similar to an eclair. Um, that's like one of my favorites. Just a, a nice classic filled pastry cream. So nice. Great. So this is all good to go now. The most important thing is having your colors ready. Um, let's say if and one is like, yep, too. absolutely. So it's nice and the and mousse has to be uh, extremely cold. Oh, okay. <laughs> if let's say your your mousse has just been sitting out for a little longer, yeah, um, that glaze will kind of take it with itself. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yes. I know that you keep on stirring it. it yeah. Has to be perfect. Right. Right. Oh, and then you mix it like that. Yep. Oh, okay. So give it one final go. And then you usually start in the center mm -hmm. and you're working your way outside. Why is that? Um, so it, you can create that swirl effect. Got it. Okay. And it doesn't have to necessarily be all perfect. Um, but just like a nice consistent uh, ratio of terms of like flavors. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, not flavors, colors. Um, okay, now I see a lot dripping on the side yep. onto the, the tray. What do you do with the excess? Um, you reuse it again. So okay. in that case, I would reuse it for black. Got it. Um, because... Uh, these colors, uh, it won't actually show. Yes. Um, that's a good question. <laughs> well, I always see it, right? And yeah. And like, you have to reuse it. Right, right, so absolutely. Much that you're wasting. Yep. So that's the reason why we put plastic wrap. Okay. Um, we would actually roll it up and then kind of put it in our deli cups or any container. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, we would re reuse it again. Okay. Yeah. So from here, it's dripping off to the side. Uh, we'll give it about like a minute or two rest. Um, and then from there, we place it on our gold boards. And For presentation. Um, yeah, I think that nice gold kind of really stands out. Um, there are other like miniature gold boards that were not to my liking. I don't know. I don't really. Yeah, it's very pretty. <laughs> so maybe we'll just plate a few. Let's okay. just plate three. Okay. Um, and then we'll finish with the gold. 
but it has to set first. Yep. And this is chocolate? It's a chocolate glaze? Um, it's a white chocolate glaze. A white chocolate yep. glaze, okay. So let's just do these ones. I know it, notice how it's like super shiny. Yes. Uh, some people will call this a mirror glaze uh, because of its sheen. Um, and that's what you want. Uh, let's say um, it, it's dull in color or mm -hmm. dull looking, uh, then there is something wrong with your glaze. Uh, heat it up too hot, um, stuff like this. So just pick it up and kind of get that extra glaze off the side. Place it on, and that's it. So we'll do this one. I'm told to take some samples home. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> some friends are asking. I'll bring you samples, Caroline. <laughs> I think a lot of like, uh, uh, in terms of nuts and pralines, pralines is one of my favorite things to uh, actually eat because um, it's such a nice flavor. Uh, almond, especially a uh, caramelized hazelnut as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and it'll bring that extra nuttiness, uh, extra texture uh, back into your mousse itself, just like so. Last thing from here. Can Next you give me a platter? The last thing is the gold. Now I've always wondered what exactly is this gold wrapper? It, it's uh, actually gold. Um, it's gold. Real gold. Uh, You're eating real in this gold? case, yeah. But it's so thin. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how we buy it? It's like three. Uh, it's like fifteen super thin sheets, um, and we only use a little bit right. just for aesthetic reasons. Okay. Um, have you ever seen like that drink with like those gold flakes? No. Oh really? I forget what it's called, but uh, I only bought it because of the gold flakes in there. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, but gold is edible. Uh, you could also eat clay. What? Yep. Eating gold. gold and clay. Oh my goodness. Yep. Okay, didn't know that. I've never seen clay on my food before. <laughs> uh, the craziest thing I've seen clay was probably clay ice cream. Um, and like a clay chocolate like mousse mm -hmm. um, but not a lot like the amount is so little um, because you shouldn't ingest a lot of that right right <laughs> because there's minerals in clay. yes absolutely <laughs> okay, okay. so gold. it just looks like this and let's say on a windy day um, or if there's a lot of air circulation you, you just want to avoid that Okay. Um, you only do it probably like layer by layer. Mm -hmm. uh, and in this case, I'm not even exposing the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It's just a little bit. So, just on like so. And would it melt? Um, no, it won't necessarily melt. It'll just somewhat uh, dissolve. Um, and it'll just take the shape of but whatever. But you know what, you're it right. Like it that. totally brings out the yeah. dessert. Like it looks, it stands out now. Absolutely. And this is it. I love it. Wow. Our petit gâteau uh, praline mousse uh, filled with a uh, flourless brownie, a soft chewy caramel finished with a rice wafer, all wrapped in uh, praline mousse. Can we actually cut one to see what Absolutely. it looks like? Absolutely. Let's cut one of these guys Yeah. because it's already soft. And you guys can give it a try for sure. Oh, we do recommend the... Um, for our cheesecakes, our cupcakes, as well as, as our petit gâteaux, that we let it sit out for at least 30 minutes prior to enjoying. Mm -hmm. So that way you um, uh, taste the actual textures and the flavors um, given. Let's say oftentimes you eat it right from the fridge. Mm -hmm. it, it's like super firm, yes. stiff. It's not really like appealing. Right. Um, let's get a few spoons or forks. And We'll do a cross section of this mousse. Sure.
just like so. so you can see all the layers. It's beautiful. There you go. Okay, let's taste it. <laughs> Jerome? Yes. You taste this Okay, I'll, I'll take a small piece. <laughs> Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. It's very creamy. Mm -hmm. It just melts in your mouth. Yeah. The gold. <laughs> oh, you know, I didn't try the gold. Did I try? Oh, I missed the gold. <laughs> it's so subtle, bite. though. It is subtle, yeah. yes. I guess I was so excited I forgot to get the gold. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Austin. It's been a pleasure. I had thank so you for much having fun. me. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. And um, uh, I'll see you guys next week. Thank Bye you. Now. <laughs> Yeah, it was very cool. nice. This was fun.